Are you ready to get down to business? Join seasoned entrepreneur, community leader, and Army veteran Scott Shalom Klein, who will take you behind the scenes with those who work in America's small business scene and speak with leaders making an impact, creating jobs, and telling their story in entrepreneurship. So let's get down to business. On AM560, The Answer, here's your host, Shalom Klein. And indeed, we're all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I am your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts on my website at sykline.com. While you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. So let's jump right in. Thrilled to be joined by Tim Lupinacci, who is a self-professed leadership junkie. Uh, Tim spent the first 28 years of his legal practice focused on helping financial institutions solve complex problems. Um, and I could go on and on in that background, but uh, but really he has uh, he has quite an interesting background as the CEO and chair at Baker Donaldson, where he leads over 1,300 individuals and 22 offices across the South southeastern U.S. Tim is presently leading the firm's five-year Baker Vision 2028 strategy and its diversity and inclusion compact. A lifelong leadership student, which we're going to talk all about, Tim recently launched a nonprofit called Everybody Leads, focused on empowering individuals in underserved communities with basic leadership skills and confidence to better lead themselves, lead others, and lead in the community. Tim Lupinacci, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Shalom. It's an honor to be here. It's great to talk to you. Absolutely. Um, appreciate you making time, but that's what you do as a leader. Um, you know, right. you find time for what's important. And I know one of the things that I've heard you speak about on other shows and, and some things that you've written is that equipping everybody, regardless of title, position, or role, with the confidence and skills to lead more effectively. That's everybody's job, and that's uh, that's super important. So, Tim, I like to get to know the person behind the behind the microphone. I mean, how did you get started, and 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 when did you first get interested in the topic? Of, of leadership. Yeah, uh, thanks, Shalom. It really was a, a, a really, I, I like to call it like an epic fail. I was a young lawyer. I had no idea I wanted to be a lawyer growing up. I kind of stumbled into the profession because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was in my first job and not really knowing what I was doing. And it was very transactional to me. I got a project, I did it, I turned it in. But uh, I, got the, I got involved in a very big project. I turned it into a senior lawyer who then turned it into our boss. And a few hours later, the boss called us into his office and started yelling at us about how we had royally screwed up all the project, the calculations. It was financial in nature. And there were about a dozen lawyers on the phone from around the country. And he told them that these idiots are going to stay here all night to get this fixed, which is not a good leadership tip about how to treat your colleagues. But that's how that was what I was left with. And I thought I'm going to lose my job. Uh, well, we got it fixed, and the next day I was driving my boss to court, and it was an awkward silence, and then he, he did apologize for yelling in front of other people, but he, he said the thing that bothered him most about me was that he saw in me leadership potential opportunity, and that I could really step up and be a leader and have a successful career, and it really is the first time I remember somebody speaking into me about being a leader, and I didn't have a title. I didn't know really what I was doing. I was young. Um, but I thought, well, if I'm a leader, I've got to learn how to do this. And that really led me on you know, a journey of reading and going to programs, listening to books on tape back when you did that, um, and uh, just try to get better. And you don't need a title to lead. You lead, everybody leads um, in, in whatever situation you're in, and you're influencing others, whether you know it or not. And so that's just really has been a passion of mine uh, over the last three decades. Absolutely. No, we're going to dive into all of those topics and, of course, talk about everybody leads. Um, but, uh, Tim, I mean, something you just said resonates, and I know we've talked about it a lot on this program, is sometimes you learn uh, your best leadership uh, sort of moments, if you will, those aha moments, is not necessarily from watching you know, a TED Talk and watching those dynamic, amazing leaders, but sometimes you watch in, the, in your company, in your organization, um, or maybe in life, and you see those moments and, and you learn – how you will not follow in those footsteps, how you will not lead like that person. Uh, So I'm curious, Tim, have you had some of those moments in your career as well? Well, absolutely, Shalom. Even with that boss who ultimately became a pretty significant mentor to me, and I think I I influenced him a little bit and he softened a little bit in his leadership skill, but I I really did learn from him that he was uh, very much a command and control um, uh, uh, leader of get this done, do it, do what I say, which there's value in that. And certainly in a lot of organizations and military, particularly, um, but I've, I've 
thought that it's better to kind of bring like a collaborative team approach. Um, certainly, I've got to train. I've got to have high expectations. I've got to have accountability of people I'm working with and myself. Um, but I did learn through watching him and uh, some clients refer to him as a bull in the china shop, which sometimes you need that <laughs> in your counselor. Um, but I tended to be more, uh, I could show that at times, but I wanted to be more trying to figure out how we could solve something together to understand the other person's perspective or the other side and, and then come together. So I think you're exactly right, Shalom. I mean, you pick up leadership tips. I pick up leadership tips every day walking uh, the halls of even my office. One of the best leaders in our firm is a receptionist in our Baltimore office. And just watching her and how she interacts and how she owns her edge part of the world to help us drive the firm forward is really inspiring to me. And she doesn't have a big lofty title. She's just doing her best to do her best every day for those around her. So I totally agree with you. Yeah, powerful stuff. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, I've shared this many times again on this program is that I have I have probably only uh, maybe on one hand, I could count the number of times that I've uh, had coffee with folks and listeners to this program know I drink a lot of coffee and I meet yeah. with a lot of folks all the time um, that I've walked away and, and really honestly haven't necessarily had a next step from that conversation. Almost always you can learn something. And uh, that means that that person, that individual, regardless of whether they're a job seeker or their employer of a, a major organization um, and, um, uh, you know, a very successful, uh, everybody is is leading. Again, I'm chatting with Tim Lupinacci, CEO and chair at Baker Donaldson, also a speaker and now the founder of Everybody Leads. And I want to dive into that, Tim. Um, so Everybody Leads, clearly this has been a passion of yours. You've, you've been speaking on it regularly, obviously within your firm, within Baker Donaldson, obviously you've, you've been able to learn from folks, but also lead others, which is fantastic. So tell us a little bit about some of your goals with this fantastic new um, mission and, and effort. Yeah. So um, we, um, our firm partners with, um, we pick an organization or a cause every three years and try to partner with it across our 22 offices. So we've done food banks and uh, the like, but this a couple of years ago, we started working with organizations trying to eradicate homelessness uh, across our footprint, which is a you know, big problem. And as I was meeting with the leaders of these organizations, they're doing incredible work on basic life skills, like getting a bank account open, uh, you know, figuring out some job skills to get a job, trying to help with housing, uh, things like that. Uh, and then when I was talking to them, one of the things that really struck me was that now they've skilled, uh, uh, some, somebody's got the skill building up so they can go get a job. There's a lot of basic leadership skills that you need, like conflict resolution and teamwork and working with others and showing up. Uh, and so as I was talking and listening to some maybe gaps in, in what they were trying to accomplish, I thought about uh, creating this organization that was called Everybody Leads to try to bring along basic uh, leadership skill training alongside other nonprofits doing incredible work. And uh, and so we've started, we launched it earlier this year, meeting with uh, some examples are individuals who are maybe um, coming back into society uh, from having been in prison or youth who had really had some struggles in their teens and were now trying to get back on track towards a job and a career and giving back in the community uh, and just coming alongside and doing you know leadership modules and, and speaking into them of, about being a leader and owning their career and, and showing up and and really effective communication and the like. So it's been really rewarding to work with some of these younger um, folks, um, younger individuals, uh, and see their um, passion to want to, you know, regardless of what's happened in their past, they're trying to take steps forward. And just to be a small part of that, just to give them that confidence has been uh, very rewarding. Well, congratulations on that. And uh, you've really already dived into my, my my next and really my final question as we're coming to the conclusion of our time together is, you know, for our listeners, everybody constantly seeking professional development, seeking to become better. I know that's true of all of our listeners, entrepreneurs, uh, successful in, in business and in whatever industry uh, that case may be. Uh, they've heard your, your message, everybody leads. But how do you, in 60 seconds or less, how yeah. do you improve your leadership skills? What are some of those key characteristics of successful leaders that you've seen, Tim? Yeah, I think, first of all, it's, it's, it's really that commitment, which you said, Shalom, and you talk about a lot, is getting better every day. Try to look for opportunities to learn, to be curious. Uh, I, I gained some, of my, as you said earlier, some of my best leadership uh, growth comes with just asking questions about how others uh, that I interact with, how they lead and what they see. Um, I think, I think it, to me, it's, it is, it's about being curious. It's about investing in yourself, whether that's, you know, reading books, watching uh, YouTube videos about leadership, um, and just really uh, focusing on building that confidence um, in, in better leading yourself. And then that helps you to better lead others. So I think just to be intention, intentional about it uh, and focus on trying to get a little better every day and learn from others. 
That's powerful. Well, I've taken a lot of notes and I know our listeners will want to get in touch and learn more um, from the uh, from the leader himself on the topic of leadership. Tim Lupinacci, really appreciate you coming on. How can we stay in touch and get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. I'm at uh, Baker Donaldson, which is B-A-K-E-R-D-O-N-E-L-S-O-N.com. And then I'm also on, uh, we have uh, everybodyleads.org. That's everybodyleads with an S.org. And I'm on LinkedIn. I'd love to keep talking with your listeners and uh, get to and learn more from them about uh, what, their, what their leadership uh, thoughts are. Well, that's fantastic. We'll definitely link in the show notes as well. And can't wait to continue to follow your important work. Uh, again, Tim Lupinacci, thank you so much for joining us. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll share in the show notes as well. Speaking of show notes, you can always get on my website, sycline.com. And of course, connect on your favorite podcast app. Uh, my producers tell me that, frankly, when you get on that podcast app and you subscribe, you rate, review, and share, makes it even easier for, for your colleagues, friends, neighbors to get a hold of this important content. We'll be right back the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship.